Hey besties, it's Brizelli. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I installed this beautiful curly wig from Tinashe Hair. I really like the lace on this wig. The lace was more so HD than transparent, but it was still a little white, but it's okay because it's super thin. I kind of over bleached the lace a little bit as you can see, but it's not that bad. In the packaging, they sent me a good quality bonnet, two wig caps, professional clips, a bobby pin, some small little cute lashes, an edge brush, and they also sent me a very stretchy Velcro lace band. I love Velcro lace bands. So for the ball cap method, I kind of kept it super simple and old fashioned today. I didn't really feel like pushing my baby hairs back, mainly because due to the fact that my edges are practically all, almost all gone. And um, yeah, but right now, as you can see, I'm just cutting the ears out. One thing I did different was I used the got to be spray instead of the lace glue. I'm probably not gonna use the got to be spray again only because the lace glue just feels like it gets the job done quicker and easier than the got to be spray. The got to be spray, I think it takes a little too long to dry and I don't like how neat it leaves the cap. Like it's spray everywhere. Once you spray the got to be spray, you do want to make sure that you blow dry it and you make sure that it is completely dry because you do not want to be working with a soggy cap. Now, on this channel, you know we always got to tell the truth and be 100% transparent, okay? So, one of the mistakes I made was using a liquid foundation instead of a powder cream-based foundation for the wig cap. I will say, if you do have a liquid foundation, you can use it, but don't use too much of it. But if you can get a powder-based cream foundation, go invest in one. Now, during the install, things got a little bit tricky for me. Y'all know I just started doing this, but I feel like it turned out good. So first, we're going to start off by putting some um, some of that foundation into the wig cap. If you have some lace spray, you can also use that. It really doesn't matter. And now we're going to start with putting the wig on. So I wanted to try something new today. I wanted to try what the Instagram TikTok girls are trying cutting the lace before you before you even put any glue or anything like that you cut the lace first thing you do i also seen arrogant tay do it what i will say is i am not arrogant tay and i will not be doing this method again cutting the lace off beforehand versus putting the lace band around it and then cutting the lace off it made it harder for me because I had cut too much of what I already plucked off, so I kind of got that wiggish look back all over again. So I had to go back in and repluck because I just cut a lot of my plucking off. So another mistake I made, why is that glue so thick? Y'all, I'm telling you, that glue do not need to be that thick, especially because I just said I already cut the lace. So, and my forehead is like big, so I really should have had like a thin layer because my edges ended up touching my eyebrows. And considering that my forehead is already big, my eye, my edges should never be touching my eyebrows. Okay, like if you have a big forehead and your edges are touching your eyebrows, 
that's a red flag. But basically, you want to do two to three layers. Um, you want to let each layer turn clear before you start your next layer. And you want to make sure you get it super duper smooth. And yeah, the glue I'm using is Boho. I used to use Ghost Bomb, made the switch, and I love Boho. You can get it at your local beauty supply. After applying your lace glue, you want to go back in and get any parts that you may have missed that may have came up. And you want to go back in, put the glue, let it turn clear, and then lay the lace down that you may have missed. So these next upcoming clips will be me basically showing you all what not to do because... I don't know. I just, I don't know. This, this, it was really late at night, y'all, too. I was kind of tired. I think it was like two or three in the morning. If you know, you know, I cannot. If you've been watching my channel, you know, I'm getting better at my baby hairs, but I can't really get them down pat. So, my mistake was trying to go in and do dramatic baby hairs. Why? Because I thought I was ready. I am not ready yet, okay? So playing around with the edges kind of like made my lace wear out because it was like it got really difficult. And if you do something wrong on the lace for too much, it still is a very thin fabric. So it will kind of become a little like dingy and look like wear out. As y'all can see in this clip, the lace looks like I've been wearing it for decades. And that little place where the edges were at, like where my foundation was for my makeup, it kind of like is blotchy now because I was I was right there for a minute. I think all beginners should take baby steps when it comes to doing certain things, especially the edges, because it's still taking me a minute to learn how to do edges, even on my clients. But I will say that it's easier for me to do my client's hair than my hair because I'm getting a full vision and I can see perfectly and they're sitting below me. So it's just way easier. I started to get frustrated with my edges because this is it was late at night. I'm tired. Like, I'm just trying to hurry up and get done with it but I kept going and we got a little something like this so something I will say is I'm not very a perfectionist when it comes to my hair I'm more so a perfectionist when it comes to my clients hair but this high beans bottle was spraying out so hard every time i would do my part out it just sprayed right over my part and after time and time again i just decided to give up so i put the hot comb to it a couple of times and just laid it like in a side part kind of way and this is curly hair so you can get away on curly hair you can get away with certain stuff like this because it just gives like that messy bed hair vibe now if it would have been like a bust down side part i would have had to you know like really get in there but since it was curly hair it was kind of easy to like get away with it and style it freely
A curly wig for a beginner is all the ways the way to go. The wig is very easy to maintain. Right now, I'm just spraying water on it, and I did end up putting some mousse. And that's one thing I can say that if you're dealing with a curly wig, they're very easy to maintain. And also, a little bit of got to be gel will also help your the curls just lock in and last. You do want to make sure that you detangle your wig first before applying any product to it, because that helps too. It just it really defines the curls once you detangle them. Like, it really looks better. Tanasha hair, I love the texture of this hair. It was super soft. I would definitely actually recommend this hair. It was super soft. It was super nice. It wasn't, it wasn't too thick and it wasn't too thin. The density, I believe, was 180. And this was a deep curly 13 by 4 lace front wig. And honey, it gave, okay? And don't be too hard on yourself about the lace. Because one thing the lace is going to do is lace. That's what it's there for. We know it's an illusion. I love wearing the curly styles. I love wearing them like half curly, half poofy. I just think it gives like a more natural Afrocentric vibe. But... I fell in love with this wig. I've been wearing it. And if you all are looking for the perfect curly wig, it's right in front of your eyes, okay? Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Love you, besties. Bye.